Well, hello, my lovely friends. It's oopsie time. I just got back from town, hung up a couple of dresses, so I'm unconventionally going to show you these as best I can without seeing me because I look like I was drunk behind the car all the way home. So hang on and don't get seasick here. I'm going to just remember my room is being worked on. See that lovely dress in the doorway there? That's the doorway to my pantry. That is a right on princess dress. And I got that today. I'll see if I can get any closer. And that's about as good as we're going to get. Unless I bring the dress up to you. But it's all the bodice, the front, the back is all gorgeous. Then, of course, it's got the whole sparkle down the front and all the poof and pinkness you could ever ask for. Okay, now hang on, and we'll just take a quick sweep around here. Sorry about this, and please excuse the mess. I also found this one today this wedding dress and I'm hoping I can show you the front of it it's got beading and lace and then sorry if I'm moving too much I'm definitely not good at this this is the this is the train as well and it's all beading and lace well at the bottom anyway it was kind of fun i got those i i'm gonna come back and put you down now i'll show you the room but it's a disaster i mean until i get it done when roger gets done working on it i'm not gonna make you guys sick by having to look at this mess but anyway the beautiful pink one was has been there for a very long time and they've moved it around several times and so today I went up to one of the girls that I know fairly well in there and said I have a question for you so she came and she and I she said, what do you want and I said well this beautiful dress here has been hanging up here forever. What are you going to do with it if it doesn't sell? Well, we'll hang it up in the back and put it out for Halloween next year. And I said, well, the price you're asking is ridiculous. It was close to $100. So I said, I would pay half of that if you would consider dropping it. So she went back to the back and asked, and they dropped it. And then I got another 30% off because I'm old. So... I got a really good deal on it and it's going to be all cut up and given to you guys when I get to it along with the wedding dresses that I have I I just haven't had time to do it all I am selling things on Nanny's Attic now Nanny's Attic by Nola and it is taking up a heck of a lot of time and I have the fan on because all of a sudden it got warm here and my temperature gauge does not work properly so of course I'm either too hot or too cold anyway I'll show you some of the other things I got this pattern and I got this one I hope you can see it because it's um, provincial flowers and if I ever get time to quilt again, I would really like to make this. Um, I picked up this. It's Aileen's Paper Glaze. I've never seen it before, but I uh, thought, what a great idea. When I start making cards again, she says, hopefully. Then I got this box of cards and Secret Garden. All these gorgeous little 
angels are on these cards. Now they're not all there. There's a dozen left. There was 20 to begin with. But the original price tag on this is $27.99. Whoa! Anyway, that's not what I paid. So I got those today as well. And the cards and envelopes, there's a dozen inside. And on the back, it's got all these little tiny pictures of fairies. They're so cute. I wish I could make them bigger. Anyway, so then I got this. Um, I don't know now. It looks like half of a tablecloth that somebody's done all the stitching on. And it wasn't the stitching I was so fond of as three sides of it have this lace on it and and I love that lace so that is one of the reasons I bought it so I'll just fold that up again quickly and take this one and this one I found this um, Pillow Sham. Uh, the colors in it are so pretty. It's got kind of a rusty pink, brown, uh, and then that tealy green. It's just really nice. You know, really 80s, but really nice. And then even the back side is a pretty stripe. So I may just sell that one the way it is as well. And while I'm mentioning it, I do sell everything is sold on Nanny's Attic by Nola. I won't take any orders off of here because it's too confusing. And I'm old and my brain just doesn't work that great anymore. So you have to order on Nanny's Attic. So if you want something, I'm more than happy to put it in. If I haven't put it up and you're looking for me to put up something, just ask. Because I'm always wondering what I'm going to put up the next time. So then I found this um, pretty piece of, I don't know what it is. It's just a little runner. But I thought it was so cute. So I picked that one up. And somebody will obviously make something nice out of that. Then we have... A bigger doily. This is quite a large doily. And I, so far, people are not really interested in the big ones. So let me know what you think because I'm only judging by what people have been buying. So here's this one. I really like this one. It's done with very, very fine cotton and uh, lots of stitches in it. Then I found these pillowcases. His and hers. And they still have the original paper from the original um, price tag and description on it. So they're brand new. Very cute. And in that yellow and teal I think is very pretty. Now I'll just continue to show you other things. I have this and it's peach. Very peach. Now I've noticed the colors are not showing right. For instance, this looks blue. It's not. It's purple. Very purple and yellow. But it looks blue. So go figure. I don't know what I'm going to do with things like that. I've got a few green things that don't look the right color at all. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. But, uh, I guess I'll just put them aside and maybe give them to somebody. Because it's pretty hard to sell when the color's not right. As a matter of fact, I, Roseanne has ordered a tablecloth that she loves, and 
I couldn't find it and I couldn't figure out why the heck can I find this dumb thing because I mean I know there's a lot of stuff in here but I pretty much know where everything is it's because the color didn't show up it's a yellow uh, Roseanne hates yellow so I don't know she loves the pattern on it so if she can change the color she's more than welcome to it but I will gotta make sure she knows that it's yellow and not uh, beige or white or whatever it looked this is fabric has the odd little leaf on it so I thought it was kind of cute there's you know a little bit of that there and it's just a beige I don't know what it is probably a polyester type fabric and then we have some more doilies like this one and this one And this one. And there's tons of these doilies. This orangey color. But I don't get them because they don't sell. So if you like that color, let me know. And I'll pick them up. But if I'm not going to sell them, I don't want to get them. Here's another pretty lacy one. Then there was a set of these. Um, one, two, three, four. Somebody started something and didn't finish it. There's this one. I love these. It's like the Battenberg. It is Battenberg. It's just in the beige. I think they're very pretty. Of course, I like Battenberg too. Then this one is a combination of three. And there's the big one. And then the littler one. And then the narrow one. So I would imagine it was classed as a dresser set. For when we used to put our linens on our dressers. Which I did until just a couple of... Well, I still do. Who am I kidding? Okay, now this is tatting. Can you imagine somebody did that? Isn't that gorgeous? No. I'm shaking, so sorry. But, um... Very pretty. Lots of work. Each one of those little knots. Wow. Wow. And I have another piece of Battenberg. This one is a little bit smaller. Also in that beigey color. Oops, that was the wrong way. Sorry, I'd already shown you that one. Okay, here we've got a red lacy one. And... There's that one. And this one. And another one. This one is a little more expensive, but I thought it was so pretty. And it's big, but I picked it up because it's so beautifully done. It's all pink and white, and it's really beautiful. It's, it's never been used. It looks like they just finished it, stretched it, starched it, and sent it off to the store. Okay, we have another piece of fabric here that I thought was kind of fun. It's got shiny kind of flowers on it and I thought that would be really fun for the front of a book you could fold it in half and then fold it again if you wanted to it would be nice 
I found this fabric that I love this fabric. It's kind of shiny. It's got this peachy pink on it and the mauve and it's all muted and beautiful. I, uh, I think I have another piece of this the same. Um, I'm not positive but because I haven't put any big pieces of fabric on Annie's yet at all. I don't even know if anybody's interested in that. Okay, then I have another Battenberg runner. That's this one. And it's the center of it. And then you go some more. And then it goes to here. So it's a fairly long one. Um, center of a table, top of an armoire, whatever. There, it's folded into four there. So it's a fair size. This tablecloth, Roger's working on the outside now because it's warm today. This tablecloth I bought because of the daisies. I don't think you can see them very well. So. Let me see. Aren't they pretty? Uh, you could cut those all out separately and make flowers out of those. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet with this one. But uh, the edge is all just a white band. But it's funny because the band is so heavy compared to the rest of the uh, tablecloth. It's kind of um, odd. Okay, then we have another doily. And this is folded in half. Both sides are the same. Here, I'll show you that. Green with the pink. Pretty, huh? Love that. I bought another one of these tablecloths. They're kind of um, fuzzy. Uh, this is the pattern on it. I'll see if anybody's interested in that one. And here's another one. And then we have another doily. Starts here. Or runner, pardon me. And goes along to the other end. So there again, that one's quite long and very pretty. And just sort of a light, light beige color. Old looking. So I like it. So that was the dresses and then that. And then I found some bags. So I'll show you the bags. So I opened them all so I wouldn't have to um, take the staples out. So here we have some yellow and white. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of that again. Eyelet. <laughs> There's another piece of eyelet. And another piece of eyelet. And then there's this lace in there, or ribbon. Actually, it's ribbon, and somebody has stitched all along the outside of it with tiny wee stitches. Wow. And there's a fair amount of that. Some silver cord, which you seem to find all the time. Um, 
more cording, more cording, some blue dazzly stuff. Pretty. Here's some ribbon with green and gold. It's very pretty. Um, some of this. And more of this. And, oh, look at this. Somebody braided some of the, um, or made a, stitched it together and made this. So isn't that pretty? All hand stitched. Wow. Then there was also some tiny, tiny ruffled lace and some plain uh, ribbon, some black lace, like this, and then a short bit of this, and some of this, oops, in black. This has a bit, no, not really. I thought it had a stretch, but it was just that it was pulling out that way. Okay, so that's this bag. Now we've got this one. In here we've got peach and white. white an older piece of this um, a small piece of that oh look at this look at that tiny ribbon now that is tiny bit of that one and I don't think we looked at this one yet oh that's the same okay and here is another piece of eyelet okay so that's that bag And if I do up bags of lace, would you prefer if I did all the same color in a bag or like all black, all white, all peach or a mixture? I don't know. This is very interesting. This was in there. This has got a real uh, light light blue background very nice gail you would love this one and there's a fair amount of it so then we have more black and this is black as well very tiny. Um, here we have some ruffled, small ruffled white lace. Um, oh, look at this. This is different too. We've got this, whoops, I'm sorry. This one. Um, oh my 
my goodness, this one's so tiny, it's hard to see. It's rolling itself up here. This one is a lace. That must be not even half an inch. Very cute. Um, this is blue. Of course, it looks blue. It lo it's the blue it is. That's amazing. Now, that blue looks normal. Another piece of that. A piece of this. I should put it up against something other than my ugly arm. Especially all those brown spots on it. Okay. And we have a blue one. And a pink one. So that was in this book. So yeah, I haven't had any time to do any oopsie videos or anything. I haven't done videos on a thing. Mind you, I don't have time to make anything, so I guess that's what happens. This one is beige. This is very pretty. Very, very pretty. It really stands out nice. And this one is blue. blue green color and then we have kind of a darker rose oh this is very pretty and I don't think you can tell the color Maybe. Yeah, looks pretty good there. Um, gray, which you don't find that often. I guess it goes like that. Like that. Then we have... They folded all the ends to the inside. This one I've never seen before. Oh, this is neat. And this is definitely stretchy. Must be for underwear or something. Lingerie. Um, I think this is another piece of that same one. And then there is some, oh, the pin has been in there for years. Okay, we'll do it this way, this one. And a little teeny bit of red. So, I'll just get this one back in the in the bag, and I'm just shoving them in there so you know I'm not going to be able to stand that. So as soon as I'm done, I'll be rolling them up. I don't. I don't like it when they're all messed up like that. Okay. This bag is... This one? And... This one. 
So I don't know if any of you guys recognize any of these or if you all have them or I've never seen them. There's a lot of laces I've never seen before. and blue tiny 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 blue and then some eyelids so that was that one and I'm not done yet Some funny trim. Red, white, and blue. Some other trim in red, white, and blue. Which is odd to find in a Canadian sewer's thing. Just some of this stuff that you... Hemming stuff. Oh, this is pretty. Pink. Or, not pink, but white. And, and this one is a cotton. So, then there was this roll, and some, what somebody did was they took eyelet and ruffled it and then ruffled it onto this um, light mauve ribbon, satin ribbon. So there's a fair amount of that too. This one has some pieces of eyelet. Some of it is a lot, a lot bigger. Then there is this one. And I don't know if this is the same, more than likely it is. Looks like a trumpet flower. Uh, some more tiny, tiny trim with little hearts. Very cute. And this is a mint green. This is, oh, this is so pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty peach. Oh. Pretty peach. Oh. There we go. Very nice. And then this one. Uh, there isn't a lot of it, but it's yellow with a little bit of green box pleated um, a couple of daisies some christmas green lace some more um eyelet and more eyelet. And then this is I don't know what this is. 
And this is the front of it. But nice trim. Very nice trim. So I will just shove them over there. This bag has this one and it's light blue and it has buttons sewn on it every so often. <laughs> that's really interesting. And that's all the way through this one. But yet the buttons go all the way through. All of it. I showed you that one. Oh, this is pretty too. Oh, this is this is stretchy too. Very delicate. Like this. And it's a soft, soft light peach color. Maybe I'll just sell this stuff by the yard. I don't know. Let's see. Um, this is interesting. Pretty trim that's come off of something. Or, no, it's never been used. It's new. It was cut off the end of something. This is very stretchy and very delicate. Black lace. So hard to show black there. And I don't know why this is there, but anyway. Oh, here's another wide one. And it's stretchy too. Oh, this is pretty. I say that about all of them, I know. But I think they're all pretty. <laughs> this one is very delicate and very wide and very stretchy as well. This one. It's got a heck of a stretch to it. And so does this one. And I think, I don't know which is the right side. You're probably getting tired of looking at them now anyway. So there's that one. And so you have to find the end or you won't be able to see the pattern on it. And this one is black. And... This one. This is quite quite substantial. It's a nice lace. Oh, and this one is just a little piece of gray. Then we've got blue. Oh, it's supposed to go that way. little ruffled lace and this one is stretchy cute for little girls outfits and here's me with no little granddaughters anymore and this one's black and oh this
this is nice. This one looks like a keeper. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? It's like a curtain top. It's just lace on the top. Just like that. And then we have, oh, it has some red thread further down, but this is all white. And this one. So I think I'll be putting up lace next because I have so much of it that uh, it has to go. I don't have room for it. So There we go. And this one is, look, the lighting in here is poor. It looks like a, I don't know, it's not white, but it's not peach either. And this eyelet. And oh, somebody stapled. Okay, they stapled that on there. That's that one. Just a couple more. More eyelet. Um, this is pretty. It's about about an inch maybe oh I like this one this one that one and here's a a blue ruffle. And that's that one again. Oh, this is teeny. Teeny, tiny, tiny, tiny blue. This one. Oh, look at oh, I love this one. Don't even ask, guys, because I'm not selling this one. <laughs> Sorry. Look at that. Oh, I love that. So pretty. And now we have another beading lace. Here and oh, this is different. This is black. And you got to remember, some of these, there's only tiny pieces of it, not, you know, there's not a whole lot of everything. Okay, so, this is sewn onto pink 
um, satin. Somebody made that one. This is the same, only in pink with the um, um, box pleat with the stitching all along the edge and then little tiny flowers. Here she's made some box pleat out of green satin. And she or he or whoever, this is a little piece of this one. This is all hand sewn over that peach ribbon. And we have a piece of cotton. Not a very big piece. And another piece of cotton. And the last piece is also cotton of a beige cotton. So I think underneath this I have buried a dish. I found this um, the white and this has the cross hatch on it and just a little candy dish. I actually have quite a bit of this white stuff. Is anyone interested in that? Because I see it a lot I don't normally pick it up because I already have it. If anybody wants me to look for it for them, um, as long as it's a decent price, I can. Not a problem. Anyway, there's that. That's it it's for today. Now I have a huge, ginormous mess in here. But it was fun, and I thank you all for watching. And... Uh, I hope it doesn't stall and the voice is horrible and all that this time. I hope it works. So thank you all for watching. And if you're interested in anything, go by Nanny's Attic by Nola on Facebook. And it isn't that hard to find. And all you have to do is ask to sign in and it's not a big deal. And I, sign, I check every day so you don't even have to wait long. So thank you all for watching, and go hug somebody. Talk to you later. Bye now.